Hello, I'm Dr. Jane Taylor, urologist, and today I want to have an honest and heartfelt conversation with you. If you watched my previous video, perhaps you've already felt the silent weight of something that has changed in your body, that moment of pleasure that once felt complete, but now arrives wrapped in doubt and silence. But if this is your first time here, I want you to know there is nothing wrong with seeking answers. Your body is not failing. It's simply trying to speak to you. And sometimes that conversation begins with silence. Many men, after the age of 60, describe this sensation as strange. They say, Doctor, I feel the pleasure, but something seems to be missing. Others look me in the eyes and quietly confess, it feels as if my body has given up on me. Those words carry a pain that goes far beyond the physical. Because in truth, what's at stake here is not only the absence of semen, it's how a man interprets this change. It's the fear of loss, the fear of no longer being the same. I understand that deeply. And that's why I want to calmly explain what is really happening when pleasure arrives, but the body remains silent. What this silence means, and what your body, in its subtle and intelligent way, is trying to tell you. Imagine the human body as an orchestra. For decades, every instrument played in harmony, the heart, the nerves, the glands, the muscles. But over time, some instruments change their rhythm, others play more softly. That doesn't mean the music has ended. It simply means it's transforming. The same happens with your body. When semen no longer appears, it is not an ending. It's a sign, a new rhythm your body is trying to teach you to listen to. Many men don't realize it, but the body speaks all the time. And when it falls silent, it's because it wants you to pay attention. Dry ejaculation or climax without fluid is one of those silences that carry messages. It may be a physical warning, a hormonal signal, an emotional response, or all of them together. By this stage of life, the body has accumulated stories, scars, victories, and challenges. Before we can understand the absence of fluid, it's useful to briefly recall how the process works under normal conditions. Think of your body as a perfectly coordinated system. The testicles produce the sperm cells, the seminal vesicles contribute most of the nourishing fluid, and the prostate adds a protective secretion. All of this is prepared within the urethra. When climax occurs, specific muscles contract rhythmically, propelling the seminal fluid outward. It's a quick event, the result of a delicate synchronization between nerves, glands, and muscles. It's important to note that climax and ejaculation although they usually occur together, are two separate processes. Climax is the neurological sensation of intense pleasure, while ejaculation is the physical act of expelling fluid. Most men experience them as one and the same, but they are distinct mechanisms. Our investigation today focuses precisely on this. What does it mean when the feeling of pleasure occurs, but the fluid does not appear? This condition is known as dry ejaculation. A man reaches climax, feels the typical pleasure, yet notices little or no semen being released. That absence of the physical component, something long considered essential to the experience, is what causes confusion and distress. Many men describe it to me in the clinic as an empty orgasm. That perception fuels anxiety, and hesitation to talk about it. It's vital to understand that your ability to feel pleasure, which is governed by the brain and the nerves, may remain perfectly intact. The change occurs only in the mechanical part of the process. It doesn't mean you failed or lost your virility. It simply means one part of your body's function has changed. And this change has specific causes we can identify. One of the most common causes of this condition is retrograde ejaculation. Imagine a small valve at the entrance to your bladder. 
During climax, that valve should close tightly to ensure semen is directed forward and outward. However, if that valve doesn't close properly, the fluid takes the path of least resistance, backward into the bladder. A man feels the orgasmic pleasure normally, but since semen doesn't exit, he perceives it as a dry climax. A common sign that helps identify this situation is cloudy urine right after intimacy. It's where the semen has mixed. This can happen for several reasons. Surgeries involving the prostate or bladder, like those performed to treat benign prostatic enlargement, can alter the nerves that control that valve. Certain medications used to treat high blood pressure or some mental health conditions may also relax that muscle, causing the same effect. In addition, neurological conditions such as long-term diabetes or spinal cord injuries can interfere with the nerve signals that coordinate this closure. I remember a patient who, after a successful prostate surgery, became deeply distressed about this change. When he understood that it was simply a mechanical alteration and that his potency and desire remained unaffected, he felt immense relief. The diagnosis is simple, usually confirmed through a urine test performed immediately after climax. Although it may affect natural fertility, intimate life can continue to be full and satisfying. Another relevant, though less common cause, is blockage of the seminal ducts. The seminal vesicles, located behind the bladder, produce most of the seminal volume. If the ducts leading from these vesicles become blocked, semen volume can drastically decrease or disappear completely. The causes of such blockages can include past infections, such as untreated prostatitis, or small calcifications similar to kidney stones. Cysts or other anatomical variations can also be responsible. Symptoms may be subtle, a mild pelvic discomfort or noticing that semen has become thicker and scarcer over time. Diagnosis is made through imaging, typically a transrectal ultrasound. The good news is that many of these blockages can be treated with medication or minimally invasive procedures that restore normal flow. The third major factor involves the hormonal aspect, particularly testosterone. This is the substance that regulates desire, sperm production, and the proper functioning of the prostate. When its levels fall, the entire system slows down. Dry ejaculation can be one of the first signs of this imbalance. Other symptoms include fatigue, reduced libido, less rigid erections, and diminished pleasure. But attention, low testosterone is not a sentence. With proper medical supervision, balance can be restored through hormone therapy, exercise, and healthy nutrition. Testosterone is directly linked to vitality. And safely restoring it brings back energy, focus, and overall well-being. Up to this point, we've discussed the physical causes, but there's also a crucial emotional component. Many men associate ejaculation with masculinity. When it changes, they feel they've lost a part of who they are. But that's not true. Masculinity isn't measured by the amount of fluid. It's reflected in vitality, health, the capacity to love, and to connect. The human body is wise. It speaks through signals and silences. And the body's silence is not abandonment. It's a request for attention. So if your body has changed, don't remain silent. Seek guidance, take care of yourself, and remember, pleasure hasn't disappeared. It has simply changed its language. I'm Dr. Jane Taylor, and I hope this video helped you understand what your body is trying to tell you. Share this video with a friend, a father, or a brother. This information can change lives. Leave your like and subscribe to the Male Secret 60 Plus channel, activating the notification bell so you don't miss any of our next videos. Remember, taking care of your body is an act of love. And sometimes, love begins the moment you choose to listen to the silence.